Hey, Dark Steel here. Uh, I know I'm in the middle of my chainsaw art project that uh, that I'm going to be working on in a series of videos, but something else needs our attention more right now, so I'm going to postpone that and we're going to work on the, uh, something else. Um, a friend of mine, Samantha Patterson, or you might know her from her channel as Zambitch, uh, recently said on the internet, recently said in, in, a, in a few different places, that... Uh, her daughter has been diagnosed with a stage two kidney infection. Now, uh, if she doesn't get surgery, then she runs the risk of losing the kidney later on in life. And the surgery, as you can imagine, is fairly expensive. So she has been doing charity live streams and I encourage you to go check out her channel and donate if you can. Uh, but, and I'll put a link in the description below, but, uh, my way, what I'm going to try and do to help, and I hope that you'll join me on, uh, w you know, help me, help me get views on this, share it around, uh, and, and maybe somebody will actually, you know, go ahead and put this in the next step, is I'm going to do a charity build real quick. Here's the knife I plan on building. This is a very, very rough draft of it. Uh, it's going to be more intricate than my normal work. But uh, if it can help somebody, then I think it's worth it. I'm going to put a lot of time into this. I'm going to put a lot of effort into this, and I'm going to try and take you along with, on the journey with me. Uh, the idea is that I will build this, and then I will sell it, and 100% of the profits off of that will be going straight towards, uh, you know, will be donated to help her pay for the cost of the surgery for her daughter. Uh, so, like I said, be sure and uh, share this video around as many views as it can get, the better, because I want everybody to see this. I want to get some interest going for this. I want to sell this thing as quickly as possible so that we can raise some money for that little girl. First thing on our to-do list is look for materials. Okay, so what I've come up with here is I've got rebar, which I'm going to use for parts of the handle. I'll explain in a little bit. I've got uh, a lawnmower blade, which I'm going to shape and then uh, grind down, form it into the blade, as I've shown in the picture. I've got a lawn, another lawnmower blade, which I'm going to, uh, I've got plans on how to make that into the parts of the hilt. And then this... I need to check the uh, solidity of this, but if this is a solid piece of metal all the way through, then I should be able to cut a good hunk out of it to create um, the pummel, which is going to be that uh, skeletal hand. So that should be interesting.
nearly forgot whenever I was gathering materials to g grab something to do the skull with. And so I grabbed this, which I will use uh, to make the skull. Uh, it might not seem necessary because I could have just, you know, cut some out of this, but I think I'm going to end up needing all of those materials that I already gathered for the things I gathered them for. So I just grabbed another one of these. You'll notice I use a lot of, uh, of lawnmower blades. It is because I have a steady supply of them. Uh, I got to hook up with a guy that, uh, that, fixes lawnmowers and uh when he throws out his old ones he brings them to me so I've, I've got got a lot of it and whenever i'm just needing some uh flat material it uh it does the trick now the nice part is since i'm just doing the skull as decorative it's not going to need a heat treat or anything and it looks like enough of this is actually pretty flat to just go ahead and start cutting the the sections out for the skull so i'm going to go ahead and do that next Okay, so I went ahead and printed out um, two of the skull picture that I'm going to be using. And uh, I'm going to do, uh, the reason I did this is because I'm going to actually go ahead and highlight parts that I want to be uh, three-dimensional. You know, part, uh, parts that I want to kind of pop out a little bit. Uh, so that we can give this skull kind of a more realistic look. And then I'm going to have one that's just the base. So I'm going to have to cut out both uh, in separate parts. And then I'm going to... Um, stencil it on the blade, the lawnmower blade, and then cut out around that.
going to be starting up the forge now. You see a little flame going in there. I'm just going to be using uh, wood for this part of it because uh, all I need to do is heat up the blades to beat them flat. It's a uh, it's not going to be a full forging experience. I just need to get get some heat on these uh, lawnmower blades. So I'm just going to be burning uh, wood, and I'm not going to be running this forge for very long. Whoa, something caught up there. Gonna go ahead and now that I've got those blades straightened up, I'm gonna go ahead and print out the next piece. Okay. You'll note that I got two. Yet again, this is gonna be uh, some layering, but it's gonna be slightly different than the last time, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Okay, and now I've got two identical bones. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go ahead and do like I did before. And this metal's still a little bit hot. I hope that doesn't interfere too much with what I'm doing. You'll note that I'm gluing on the top of this bone. Uh, I am going to require one of these to be upside down and one of them to be right side up. The reason for this is because I'm going to stack them together and I need them to match up perfectly. So the way I'm going to accomplish this is by doing exactly what I'm doing here. Putting one right side up and one upside down so that whenever I sandwich them, they line up. Okay, so I figured that while we uh, wait for that paint to dry, I'd go ahead and weld on the skull a little bit so that we can find my welding mask. And Okay, so it looks like uh, this did in fact dry while I was in there welding. And so let's, uh, let's move on. Everything uh, to this point, by the way, has been done in a series of a few hours. Uh, I'm really trying my hardest to get this done because, as I mentioned, if I sell this, the proceeds are going to help the little girl in need. And I cannot sell it until I get it built. So I am trying to build this as quickly as possible without uh, sacrificing any uh, integrity at the same time. I want it to be done well.
so there's those completely finished. Uh, well, I mean, cut out. Uh, you'll note I only recorded the cutting of the first one. Uh, I decided to not make you watch the record, or to not make you watch me cut out the second one, because uh, believe it or not, they were uh, remarkably similar. So, anyway, uh, let's move on with the whole. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to do quite a bit of modification of this to get it to look a little bit more like a skull and a little bit less like an old style football helmet. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to just do that by grinding down a lot of it and uh, and kind of shaping it a bit. I'm not going to get into the detail work because there's still some uh, welding left to do. And I learned the hard way last time I did one of these intricate projects that if you get it right where you want it and then you have welding left to do, you're going to end up going back over a lot of stuff that you've already done. So it's worth it to just kind of uh, shape it as you need it, weld it, and then do the the fine polishing work because, uh, because you're going to end up backtracking as you make a little bit of a mess here and there. So... So I realize that it doesn't quite look like a skull yet, but again, I'm not going to do the, the real uh, artwork on it yet until I uh, get a little bit further in the whole project because I don't want to mess up what I've already got. I was just getting basic form down. Uh, I'm going to have to grind down in here and in here a little bit. Uh, a lot of finer work that I can't get to with the big grinder when I go to use the Dremel tool, and I'll probably just wait until then to do that, but I thought I'd wear down a lot of it now, whatever I could get with the big grinder, because that uh, cuts a lot of time out of my Dremel work. Okay, so my original sketch, uh, these things I printed out and I, I lined them up and everything, and then my original sketch was just to give myself a rough idea of what it was I wanted to go for. The blade style, not the length, not the size, anything like that. So. Uh, I'm, I'm going to change it up a little bit as I move on, which is important because, as is right here, if I'm using that big old heavy piece of metal that I uh, intend to use for the pummel, then this blade length, that's going to be a huge off-balance uh, handle because that, that pummel is going to make it back heavy. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the as much of this blade as I can, which is quite a bit bigger than this. But like I said, the idea, this was my rough sketch. And so the idea was just to give myself a, a blade design. And now I'm gonna to try to stay true to that, but it is not to that scale. After a lot of uh, trial and error, uh, trying to figure out exactly what it is that I wanted to do with the blade, I think I've come up with something. I'm just going to go with uh, simplicity. I've gone, I've gone really kind of overboard on the handle and the the uh, pummel and all that so far. So I think I'm just going to go with a simple blade. I mean, not completely lacking in uh, in uh, you know design or anything like that, but but just a uh, you know. Simple, elegant. I think it'll be nice. Uh, now, it doesn't look very nice right now, but, uh, but it'll get there.
Okay, uh, from this point on, it's actually day two of work on this. It's been a couple of days since the last uh, the last bit I've done on this because I had other things that I had to do this week. But now that those are out of the way, I can uh, I can get to work and uh, I'm ready to start this project. So let's get busting. Okay, so after two days of working pretty tirelessly, that's what I've come to so far. I figure I'm about halfway done with the project and uh, this has turned out to be quite a long video, so I thought I'd better at least cut it in half. I don't know how many parts there are going to have to be to this series, but I'm going to keep pushing on it until it's, uh, until it's done. I'm going to keep uh, working until this project is what I want it to be, and then I'm going to give all the proceeds to this little girl. Her name is Louise. Uh, her mom calls her Lulu. Uh, that'd be Samantha Patterson's daughter, and we are really just, you know, hoping that she holds in there, hoping that she does all right, uh, and we're going to help her pay for her surgery if we can. So uh, if you want to know how you can get involved, I'm going to put the link for a donation page uh, down below in the description. Uh, if you're interested in buying this, it will be available as soon as I'm done with it uh, on rowanwoodart.com. I'm going to put it up on eBay. I'm going to try and sell it everywhere that I can get it uh, out there because the quicker we do this, the better. So a uh, short window of opportunity to buy it if you're interested. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I'll, I'll post more as I, as I uh, find out more of what, what I'm going to have to do. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's keep her in our thoughts and let's, uh, let's try and do something about this. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you uh, are going to, are wanting to come back and see more. Uh, there's a whole lot more left to do, but uh, it's turning out pretty good so far. Um, if you like the video or if you dislike it, whichever, tell me what you think down in the comments. And uh, like this if you like it. Uh, don't if you don't. 
Uh, subscribe, please, if you haven't already. And if you haven't ever seen any of my other videos, you can go check them out. Uh, thank you for watching this one. Hopefully we can do something to help her. And, uh, and that's what we're here for. All right. Thank you.